how how are we doing for oxygen? Oxygen. Uh, check. What about water? Water? Oh no, bit of a problem oh. there actually. It's all contaminated. Oh hi! Welcome to our underground bunker, which is ten thousand feet below the Earth's surface, where our water is a bit mucky actually. We need more biospheres. We have a problem. We collected enough biospheres last week to last us, surprisingly enough, just till today. Yeah. So what's going to happen? Will the teams end up in there? The cryogenic chamber. Well, you know what? The temperature is sub-zero. <laughs> Last week it was the girls who ended up in here. It's Team Double X, and they're still in there. Look, there they are. One, two, three, four. Uh, who will come to a very chilling end this week? Uh, X, Y, or Double X? If you don't want to come to a chilling end, you've got to collect these. These are biospheres. Yes, and you can help wherever you are because you can call us on the phone, or you can help by the Super Information Highway. The super or, Information. Or if you highway. want, you could come here one week and play in the underground bunker. If you want to do that, details on CFAX page five two one. Remember Ted Rogers? That's five two one. You can email us. Address is on the screen right now. Uh, snail mail if you want, via Royal Mail, or via the CBBC website. Get onto Sub Zero. See this thing here where all your messages are? Chatterbox. Do it as well. And remember, we don't alter your messages that come out on screen, so please be careful when you type. We leave the spelling mistakes in. We leave everything in, warts and all. Now, however you decide to get in touch, what we really need to know is which team you support. Is it the girls' team, the double X's? Or is it the boys' team, the XY's? Now, thank you. Now, um, of course, Robin is in charge of the teams. I stay here in control, in the control room. Now, last week we played a very great game called Web Connections, and we've got people sitting in internet cafes all over the UK. We're going to try and link them up a bit later on. Went terribly wrong last week. Oh, that noise can only mean one thing. It's time to meet the teams. Yeah, they're, they're coming down to my level. They are travelling down here 10,000 feet below the surface of the earth. OK, let's meet them, and I can tell you they're looking extremely butch in orange. It is Team XY. It's the boys. Here they are. Whoa. Now, XY, that's the chromosome pattern for lads. On this week's team, Dean wants to be known as Zigzag, Andrew calls himself Duke, and Edward Cyberted. Oh, bless him. And the joker in the pack is Fully Books, Chris Jarvis! Hello! Hello! Hello, guys, how you doing? Nice to see you, nice to see you. How you doing? Hey, this oh. is a special young man, Super Cyber Ted. Cyber right? Ted. Came up with yep. the name of the programme. Ca came up with the name Sub Zero? Yeah. yeah. How much did the BBC pay for that? Did they pay lots of money? No. Not a thing? No. Okay, here they are looking very sassy in their green. It's the ladies, it's Team Double X. Double X. Yeah. Okay, on the double X team this week we have Anna who calls herself Glitter, Hannah who's flying high as Golden Hog, and Cassie the Mega Master. And their team captain, straight from Electric Circus, here she is, the lovely Gail Porter. Yay! Yay! Oh, hey, oh, Papa Crispy. Hello. Right. Oh, sorry if you want to talk. You talk. Yeah. Gail, Chris, thank you very much for coming. Teams, thank you very much for coming. OK, who have you nominated to be your net detectives? Duke. Duke, Duke. and Glitter. Glitter. Your badge is coming out Glitter. there. OK, net detectives, follow me. Come on, let's go quickly to the go isolation cell. Go, 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 In there, there you go, in the isolation cell. Good luck, good luck on the web treasure hunt as well. And I have a clue coming in. Guess CBBC's address. And then it's over to you. Gemma, what's all this about? Can you explain this? Well, that is one of five cryptic clues that you can find on the Sub-Zero website, which is exactly what's going to happen to our net detectives, because this is part of the treasure hunt. Now, once they've seen these clues that have been online all week, actually, but this is the first time they're going to see them, it will hopefully lead them to biospheres that are actually hidden on various websites all over the net. It's brilliant and very cryptic. Now, they've only got about 20 minutes to do this, so they've got to be pretty 
clever. And the biospheres that they're looking for this week, look, there they are, and they're red. And to help them out a little bit along the way, we've also created our own search engine that you can see there. Now, they just need to work out which words actually to enter. So if you know any, or you can help with any little cheats, what you can do is give them some actual little sneaky hints via Chatterbox Live, which would be cool, and we'll drop in on Glitter and Duke a little bit later on to see how they're doing. We're now going to go to Mr Banks, who is somewhere in the labyrinth that is Sub-Zero. Yes, you join me in my quest to find the very best video and games entertainment on this planet. Uh, you want to find some biospheres first? Yeah! Yeah. yeah! You want to look for some biospheres? Yeah. Let's go to Arcadia, get the first biosphere. Here we go. Woohoo! Woohoo! This is Arcadia. It is Sub Zero's very own playground. It's the playground for the rich and famous. Um, we've got a fantastic okay. game here. Our game is Rapid River. How are you feeling? Because this is oh, a very. Yeah. Little, you, wow! Look at, I'm very He's a up. big boy. Whoa. How can you tell? You've got to get as far as you possibly can go. Okay. 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 You go right at the first junction. Right. right. Remember that. If okay. you don't, there's trouble. Three, Ooh, two, here we go. One, zeroids. We're quick. Go. Come on now. Really, really paddle hard. This is a very, very intense Whoa. and very, very physical <laughs> go for game. Go, Okay. Um, okay. I have some web messages coming in. Yeah. I have some web messages coming in. Um, Chris, Warrior from Croydon says he saw you in pantomime and reckons you do some great impressions. Oh, bless him, yeah. Right, we've got to go right. Oh, yeah, so how about Homer Simpson? Homer Simpson, Homer Simpson. Homer Simpson. Oh, I want some donuts. Please, can I have some donuts? Oh, try and keep your mind on this, Homer. Oh, wow, here we go, here we go. Fantastic. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Jane from Sterling wants to know if you prefer filming in Scotland where fully booked studios are. Keep paddling. Watch the rocks! Whoa! Oh, oh do, do, do! Do you prefer filming in, in Scotland? Oh, we love it in Scotland. Glasgow is the place. It's really hip and trendy up there. You're liking Glasgow. And it's really happening. We can't get Don't enough let me of put it. you off or anything. No, no you're, I'm not, not you're not trying to put you're you off. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Watch. Oh, you're, you're not doing Can we say hello to everyone on the got, team at fully booked? You've got 10 seconds left. We've got to go right again. We've got to go right again. Go right again if you can. Come on, see if you can make it there, make it there. Four, three, two, one, one, oh, that's it, the game is over. Fantastic, you did very, very well. You got to the second junction. Yes. Gemma, we did it, it is over to you now. Yeah. Thank you very much. That is a great game, isn't it? Right, now it is time to play Web Connections. Now, I just want you to know, we are live. We are relying on technology, so it could go pear-shaped like it did last week, but we'll have a little look. Look, you can see four people from around the UK. We have Bournemouth, Truro, Carnarvon and Twickenham. This has never been done before. It's groundbreaking stuff. Right, let's test the lines. Let's go to Carnarvon. Hello, Carnarvon. Hello. Hey, you can hear me. Well, that is a good start. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine, thank you. Brilliant. I'm um, very well, thank you. Okay, listen, you stay on the line. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to ask each place a question. Now, if you get it wrong, you're out, and it's just tough bananas. I'm going to be really, really horrible about this. And also, if your connection is faulty or your line goes, you're out. And that's that. Okay, here we go. First question to Bournemouth. Johnny Bull used to present programmes on CBBC. Now his daughter does. What's her name? Kirsten. What's her oh, name? Um, Barry Bull. Correct, you're in. OK. Truro, what gun-ridden show is presented by Dave Benson Phillips? Get your own back. God, oh, just about there. OK, Carnarvon. Michaela Strachan has been a presenter on which CBBC nature programme? Mm. <clears throat> Gonna have to hurry you. You're out! The, I'm the, so the, sorry. The you're Twickenham. Which well-loved Blue Peter dog retired this week? Bonnie. Correct. OK, Bournemouth. Who wrote the play Romeo and Juliet? Shakespeare. Correct. OK, Truro. What's the name of the character who owned the chocolate factory in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Who Wonka. owned the factory? Can I have your answer? Truro, you're out! Oh, my goodness. It's now between Twickenham and Bournemouth. OK, Twickenham. Who won the Football World Cup in 1998? France. Correct. Bournemouth. Who sang the theme song to Titanic? Celine Dion. Correct. OK, Twickenham, who's the patron saint of Ireland? Who's the patron saint of Ireland? Um... I'm going to have to hurry you. I'm sorry you're out. Oh. Which means... Oh. I know, it's tough, isn't it? Showbiz. Right, OK, Bournemouth, you're the winner. Of course, Bournemouth, we have a boy sitting there. That is a biosphere, one of these lovely things for the XY team. Congratulations. And now we're going to go back to Mr Robin Banks. It's yeah. St Patrick, it's St Patrick. XY team, there you go, there's your biosphere. Let's go over to the girls. 
Team Double X, yeah. Team Double X, you got a bias, Phil. Look how happy they are. Look how happy they are. Here we go. We're very it's happy. It's time for We've Double X team. Are you ready? Yeah. You've got to get to the second junction. Okay, yep. the second Not junction. A hey. Keep going ready. right, go right to any junction. Don't let me put you off, but they did really, really, really well. You Three, up, you two, one, zero, right. go. Come on, Hannah. Oh. Okay, and I see up here and Say, I have some web strange. messages coming in and there's lots coming Claire. in for Gail. Uh, Gail, Claire yes. from Bradford says that on Fully Ooh. Booked, you were always flirting with Tim Vincent. Ooh. <laughs> hey! Ooh. Did you actually go out with him? Did I go out with Tim Vincent? No, I'm afraid I didn't there. There you go. You didn't? No, right, right, right. You, no, didn't, I didn't. Even, you didn't even go out like for a cheeky coffee at lunchtime or no. anything with him? Ooh, we might have had a cheeky coffee. Ha ha! Hey, cheeky coffee! Uh, Ooh. also. Oh, right, Paul right, from, like right, go. Paul okay. from Eastbourne asks, are you really a martial arts expert? I am not a martial arts expert. No, I did, well, I've got a black belt in karate, but that was a long time ago I did that. It's a long time right, ago. Go, it's a long go. time ago. He's got black belt, but it was a long time ago. OK, you got to... I've got a couple of Gucci belts now. Ten. Madonna Cannon Come on, you've got to get to down there. Down there, you, I think you're going to do oh, it. Yeah, I think you're going to do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Easy, 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 easy. Biosphere, please. Biosphere, please. Woo. Easy. Biosphere for the girls. We're well done. The that one I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go. Gemma, it is now over to We're the lady. Oh, thank you very much, Robin. Well, I think it's time now to visit our intrepid net detectors in the isolation cell. OK, Duke first. How's it going? I found two biospheres. One's on the live and kicking site. The second one was on the Roll Dial website. That was quite big. And I'm about to look for the third one now. Well, two biospheres, very good. How about you, Glitter? Yeah, I'm doing fine. I found two biospheres. Found my first one on the live and kicking website. Um, that was a really good website. Loads of information about um, what was going on in the show. And. Um, I found my second biosphere on the Roald Dahl website. It looked like there was loads of stuff um, to do with Roald Dahl's books there. And I'm just um, looking at the Childline website, seeing if I can find my third biosphere somewhere on there. Well, definitely on the right track, sir, Glitter. are doing really well. Now, the Roald Dahl site is a must-see if you're a big fan of his books and, of course, the films that are based on them. I've got to say, it's not a very visual site, but there are lots of interesting facts on it, so definitely worth checking out. And the biosphere on this site is hidden underneath the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory book covers. Don't forget, of course, the Ellen Kay site as well with Zoe and Jamie, lots of showbiz goss and stuff. Still got three biospheres, of course, to find, um, but now, actually, there's a chance for you at home to help out your chosen team because yes guys it's time to play Biosphere Bonanza thank you very much okay now in this safe here it, which is locked there is actually a biosphere which you could win for your team so what you have to do is quickly make a note of these phone numbers because you're only gonna have three minutes to do these okay so here you go you're gonna have three clues to give you a code which will hopefully unlock this call in with the answer here we go take the year of the Battle of Hastings pretty easy minus the number of pence there are in a pound I hope you know that one although it is Sunday morning I know okay add up the number of sides in a dice and plus that to the figure that should give you the answer okay so come on girls show the boys you're not a chromosome short of a double X and ring and team XYs don't just sit around doing that lazy Sunday morning boy thing give us a call now to take part only cost 5p but always remember to ask permission before you spend a penny okay ring in or don't ring in it's your call. I think I, I, I think it's 972. I think it's 972. Okay. Last week, 972, I think. But don't. Last week, um, the Twelve. girls went on a virtual adventure. So this week, it's the turn of the boys, if you'd like to go off Bye. on a bit of a virtual See you later. adventure. See you later. Bye. Bye. So, girls, Nebula One, you're going to like Nebula One. Come on through. Yeah. Meet Nebby One. Come on through and meet Nebby One. This is, this is Nebby, Nebula One, the Sub-Zero robot, and his elevator doesn't go all the way to the top floor. As, uh, as you can see, you have to program Nebula One to go over, pick up that biosphere, deliver it through the fence. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Easy. Easy, easy. You've got some clues. You've got to walk across room, pick up biosphere, deliver through fence. All the words, the commands are here. I'm going to go through these once, memorise them, OK? Walk. 
turn, pick, climb, deliver, through, across, around, over, up, fence, room, plinth, stairs, biosphere. Now remember, you've got to get the buttons pressed at the same time on your console. Three, two, one, zero, it's go. Gail, you are the coordinator here. Walk Pick across room. Walk, oh, walk across fantastic. room, well done, that's hey, fantastic. Pick up Biosphere is the second Pick one. Pick up Biosphere. Oh no, We're come on, they, they've got, you've got to have been cheating. Deliver through stairs. Oh. Oh, we've got the last one wrong. Deliver through plinth. Ah. No. Deliver through fence. Yes. Oh. Oh. Easy. You have plenty of time left. We could just go out and have Shall a tea have or a coffee, coffee or something. Cheeky coffee? We should have a cheeky coffee. We should cheeky have a cheeky coffee. little coffee. There Thank you go. Don't get too close. Don't get too close. Be gentle. Be gentle. Thank you, my dear one. Thank you very much. Does it's another coffee? one for the girls. Another biosphere for the girls. Yay! Well done, girls. Well done. Fantastic. Well done, us. Lots of biospheres. That is good news. That may even mean that Robin can have a bath this week. It's great. Lots of clean water. OK, time's running out for our net detectives. Now, earlier on, they were neck and neck. Are you doing OK, Glitter? Yeah, I just found the third biosphere on the Childline website. It took me quite a while to find, but I finally got to it. I've just found the third biosphere as well on the Childline website. Can't believe it, there's still nothing in it with three biospheres each. Well, that's great. You just better not be helping each other out. Now, both Glitter and Duke worked out that get on the right line for kids and beat the school bully was a clue to lead them to the biosphere on the Childline site. Now, this is cool. It's an adult-free zone. If you're having a bit of a tough time, need a bit of advice, definitely worth checking out. It's a bit like, I'd say, an online agony aunt. That's the best way to describe it. Now, of course, there are still two biospheres to find for your benefit at home. One of them is on the CBBC site, where you can look at all the info on Sub-Zero. And um, the biosphere is hidden at the very bottom of the Over To You page, where you can go and chat online, tell us your views about fashion and pets and stuff like that. Oh, and talking of pets as well, the last clue leads to the Happy Puppy site, which isn't actually about pooches. It's about games for computers and consoles and stuff like that and um, also it has like a whole page on hints and cheats and stuff which would be good for us actually. Now Duke and Glitter both still have two biospheres to find but will they cheat the clock? Who knows? Let's go over to Mr Robin Banks again. Hey, it's all right don't worry Nebula One is okay he's okay you want to do a virtual adventure who have we nominated? Zigzag to do a virtual adventure come on let's go, go let's go zigzag. virtual adventure what's you know, up? You I'll look it. You. Okay okay through there it's okay OK, while Zigzag's getting ready, let me explain exactly what's going to happen. Now, we've built a virtual home inside our computer for all the CBBC presenters. And by the magic of telly, we can put Zigzag in there. And then he has to find clues to get a biosphere. And we've got Stuart on the line to help him. OK, load the computer. Now, unfortunately, Zigzag can only see things which are real, which doesn't include the furnishings or pictures. So, as I said, we've got Stuart from Essex on the phone to help him out. The two of them will work together. It's really a matter of teamwork. So as soon as Zigzag is in the room, off you go. Instructions there. Okay, pick them up, Zigzag, and read. That's them. right. Read it out loud to Stuart. Okay. Well, everything in this room is backwards. To find the combination, you must first or solve this clue. What does it say, Zigzag? It's clue on the paper. It's back to front. Turn it over. Good, Stuart. Good. Now read it out, Zigzag. What does it say, Zigzag? Put the fruit in the bowl. All right. Get all the fruit and stick it in the bowl. OK. OK, Stuart. Oh, good teamwork there. Done that. All right. OK, remember, Zigzag's in a grey room. Now, has anything happened, Stuart? You can find another clue. All right. One sec. Go forwards. Yeah. All right. Unshuffle the cards and check the front. Quick. Now the cards are real. Seven, Ace up five, to seven, but they're muddled. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight. They're all muddled up. Yeah, okay. All right. Seven, five, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight. Three, two, eight. Okay. What did the clue say? Check uh, the front. Check the front. Turn them over. Does it say anything, Zigzag? Get your you your own back. Get your own. 
going back. Now, there's a picture of Dave Benson Phillips by the real whiteboard. Now, I'm doing the writing on the whiteboard. Oh, good, good, good. That's it. Got the right Love idea. Now, what's left on the whiteboard? Come on, hurry up. Turn off the lamp. Turn, Turn off the, the lamp. Right, go towards the lamp, the big lamp. Yep, yeah, that's it, now turn it off. Can you see anything happening? Right, uh, no. Look, look, look around. Look. Look. The combination is 194. Quick, Great. go to the atmosphere. Go to this atmosphere. Look, the biosphere, look at the atmosphere. Go to the biosphere, go to the box and put in 194. That's it, quick, I think he's going to do it. Now if we can get the atmosphere. Get the barrel spear out. Good team. Well, well done, quick. Zigzag. Right. Well done, Stuart. You've got a bar spear for the XYs. Stuart for calling the biospheres atmospheres. That was great. Now we're going to go to the net detectors in just a tick to find out how they've done, and then we'll find out the final scores. But in fact, the net detectors time. Hands off your keyboards, net detectors. Time to leave the isolation cell. But I know what you're saying at home. What happened to the biosphere bonanza? Well, we have to find out the answers now. Oh yes. Love that showbiz music. OK, now, if you remember rightly, I asked you the date of the Battle of Hastings, and, of course, it was one in the eye for Harold in 1066. Then I said, take away the number of pence and a pound, which was 100, which should have left you with 966. If you were still with us at this point, you should have added six for the number of sides on a dice to give a code of 972. So, let's just test that code's right. OK, 972... Yes, it is. Here is the biosphere, and I can tell you that 78% of the girls that called in got it correct, and only 69% of the boys that called in got it correct. So this is for the girls. Here you go, Robin. I gave the answer. I gave the answer. I got it right. I gave the answer. There you go. Yeah, there's there's yeah, yours. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a quick look while we're here now. You have got one, two. The girls have got three. The girls have got three biospheres. The girls yeah. have got three biospheres. We're nearing the very end of the game. The boys have got one, two. The boys have got two biospheres. But hang on. Don't look glum yet, because remember the net detect. It's all up to the net detectives. What have the net detectives okay, got? Maybe they they've got a yeah. Oh, very oh, good. Oh, oh, big cheer. Okay, basically, I can tell you they were neck and neck with five each. They both got a bonus one, so they got six each. Which means the girls are the winners. The yeah. girls are the winners. Yeah. Girls are the winners. Oh, I don't believe it. And it's Duke's birthday, which means you've got to go in the freezer for your birthday. Oh, dear. Yeah. But, um, girls, you get loads of prizes. We've got some fantastic Game Boys for you this week, so run upstairs and get your Game Boys. Yeah, That's brilliant game. Yeah. Of course okay. you get one. <laughs> Everybody gets one here on the show. They're great Game Boys. Look at those. OK, guys. We're gallant losers. Yes. You're gallant losers. Well, it's oh, totally it's really really it. chamber. Bye, Duke. Happy birthday. Oh, I'm sorry, Duke. Sorry it's his, about that. His birthday. It's How birthday. did you do it? You could have fiddled birthday. it. Don't get in the chamber. Oh, what a way to spend your birthday. What a horrible way to spend oh, your birthday. At least you've got lots of bias for clean water. You can have a bath now. Yeah, stop saying about that. Show's over on BBC Two. Continues on BBC Online. You can uh, pose your questions to Gail or Chris by visiting the CBBC website and then just on Sub -Zero and you can Absolutely, and, and we will be back next week at the same time of 11 o'clock with Sub Zero, and we've got guest presenters as well. Don't Celebrities smile at me when from you're Blue Peter, Connie and Stuart. Talking about me, Stewart. Bath and smelling. Ooh, don't, don't do that. That's horrible. That is horrible. That's nasty. Don't forget it. That's really horrible. That's really horrible. Don't. <laughs> no, don't. don't.